Answers. That's what this is about. If momentum trading actually works, then there must be verifiable entry and exit rules. There must be a technical indicator safety valve that learns to avoid the trade when the market changes direction. And the results must be empirical and explicit. And that's it. If non-directional option trading works, then again, there must be verifiable entry and exit rules. There must be a technical safety valve which learns to avoid a stagnating market. And the results must be empirical and explicit. The same goes for technical stock trading. There must be verifiable entry and exit rules and the results must be empirical and explicit. And that's it. Answers. That's what we're about to see and we're going to do it right now. We'll start with momentum trading. By now the rest of the world has picked up on our published research that there has been in the last 10 years during the bull market pre-earnings optimism in particular in technology companies. We're talking about this period right before earnings. We're not talking about what happens after earnings. That has turned out to be a bit of a coin flip, but there has tended to be pre-earnings optimism a week or 14 days before earnings where owning calls and then selling them before the earnings event has been a fantastically good trade. Let's just take a look at how good it has been. We'll look over the last 10 years. We'll look at Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. We'll look at buying a call. We will do it with custom earnings timing. That is, we will open the position seven days before earnings and we'll close it the day of earnings. Since all three of these companies report after the market closes, this trade does not take an earnings bet. If these stocks reported before the market closed, then we would have to put a one here. And here are these fantastic results. We can see across the board from Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, just staggering results. 340% to 497%. The win rates are all above 60%. But there's a fair criticism which says, sure, if we could guarantee that we would be in a bull market tomorrow, then we could put this trade on today. But we cannot guarantee if we're in a bull or bear market. And the end of 2018 has been a perfect example of how quickly things can turn. So let's take this exact same test and let's just look at what happened over the last six months. And what do you know? All three of these have now turned into losers. Google and Amazon in particular have been monstrous losers on just two trades. So does that mean this pre-earnings optimism that we talked about before, does that optimism no longer occur? Or if it does, how do we know when it's going to occur? We're going to apply a technical trigger. And while in technical analysis, you will find thousands of filters, we take a step back at Capital Market Laboratories and looked at the single most used technical trigger, and that is the moving average. We will go down to a technical open rather than normal time. And all we're going to do is Enter this trade seven days before earnings if and only if the stock price is above the 50-day moving average. That's it. You can see all of the other settings we have here. We're not going to get twisted up in trying to combine 19 different measures to figure out a perfect technical strategy. We are going to do the same trade, but only if the stock price is above the 50-day moving average. For those of us that are more visually inclined, this is exactly what we're doing. We're waiting for the seven days before earnings. That's this green E icon. We're checking to see if the stock price is above the black line. The black line is the 50 day moving average. Since it is, that triggers an entry and that is the momentum we seek. We fast forward one earnings session. And again, we look at seven days before earnings, but now the stock price is below the 50 day moving average. It's below that black line. And so no trade is taken. That is our safety valve. And here are the results now. Even over the last six months, you'll notice that one of the earnings was skipped. You'll see each of these stocks only have one trade, even though there have been two earnings in the last six months. And which trade was skipped? We can just click on a back test tile. We can see the only trade placed, for example, in Microsoft was in summer. Same thing with Amazon, the one that was in summer. And you'll find the same thing with Google. We applied a simple rule. And now we can compare these last six months using the technical indicator without the technical indicator. And here they are side by side. We know there are a lot of numbers. Look at the difference that just eliminating one trade has had. But now let's look at the impact of this little filter over the last 10 years. That is, what if we used this technical open right here, that is trade the one week before earnings, if and only if the stock is above the 50 day moving average, but let's do it for the last 10 years. And here are those results. And since we're dealing with a lot of numbers here, here we include the results without the technical trigger. To make things easier to read, we'll just show the total return of the back tests and the win rates. First we found the pattern, and then we found the safety valve. 
Using the simplest of technical opens, we have seen higher returns using just one of the phenomena that we have identified that exist in the market during both a bull and bear market. Of course, there's no reason to only look at one week before earnings. We can also try looking at short-term momentum trades, that is just three days before earnings and looking for that pre-earnings momentum. And in this case, we'll look at Tesla and Nvidia. And here are the results over the last year for those two stocks. You see both of them have four wins and no losses, totaling over 500% or 200% on just four trades each. It turns out that we can also look at the 14 days before earnings for this pre-earnings momentum. So we have three days, seven days, and even 14 days. And how do we find all these ideas? How do we know which stocks are working the best? That goes to the Pro Scanner. We'll click on Pro Scan. We'll select by strategy. We will choose a ticker group of the NASDAQ 100. And you can see there are so many scans that we have for idea generation. But in this case, we're focused on the pre-earnings scans and we're looking at pre-earnings optimism. So we have the seven days, 14 days, and three days pre-earnings optimism calls. We can even tap on the three days and look at those results. You can sort by the number of wins, by the win rate, by the average trade return. You can even sort by the length of the back test. But if we scroll down, we can see even more. Not only do we have the three day, seven day, and 14 day pre earnings long call, we also have the three day, seven day, and 14 day pre earnings long call with the technical requirement imposed on it. That is, those trades are back tested and scanned if and only if the stock price is above the 50 day moving average. So you can see, even for the single type of trade, we have six different scans to find the best of breed. While we're here, you notice that we also have pre-earnings volatility plays, that is four days, 14 days, and seven days before earnings, looking to own a straddle just to capture that rise in volatility and then closing it the day before. You can always just tap on a ticker in the scanner and it will bring up the backtest tile and show you those results in the backtest tab where you can customize it further. And finally, no backtest is complete without setting the alert. So I go to the alerts tab. I wanna do Nvidia and Tesla. I enter them common delimited. This is a days before earnings alert, three days before earnings. I'll put in my email address and my phone number and I'll add the alert. And there it is. I will get alerted three days before earnings for Nvidia and for Tesla automatically via text message and email. So we have found the answers that we sought for momentum trading. We found a verifiable entry and exit rule. It was absolutely structured and methodical. We found the technical indicator safety valve that learned to avoid the trade if a bear market or a correction was starting. And finally, the results were empirical and explicit through a bull market and a bear market. And now we'll turn to non-directional option trading. It can be shown that just blindly owning calls and puts, that is straddles or strangles, is simply a losing strategy. I mean, how wonderful would option trading be if you could just buy calls and puts every two weeks and make money? But you can't, and we can actually show that. Let's look at the period from 2015, September 30th, through 2018, September 30th, and simply get long a strangle, doing nothing special with earnings, and doing it every 14 days in Amazon, Adobe, and Facebook. And here are the results. Even in a raging bull market, this strategy has been a complete disaster. But here's the secret, and you can only get to it if you do empirical and methodical research. There are specific times when just owning calls and puts together and betting on option volatility is a good trade and avoids all of the risk of a bear market or any directional bias. But it must be extremely selective and when done properly, the results are staggering. There should be a way for us to make this become a profitable strategy with extremely high win rates without taking stock direction bet. And there is, we just need four steps. The first thing we wanna do is skip earnings. The next thing we want to do is go to a technical open and we only want to open this strangle or straddle only at the moment that the stock price crosses down through the 200 day moving average. And when that happens, the stock price is also below the 10 day moving average. We're not going to use a bunch of fancy combinations. We're simply using moving averages. Next, we will come down to our close trade one section. We're gonna to wanna to take gains if this strangle ever goes up 20%. Let's close this trade no matter what at a maximum 
of 10 days after we open it. And here are the results. We've actually added PayPal in there as well. You can see with Amazon, four wins and no losses, or PayPal, eight wins and two losses, or Facebook, four wins and one loss, Adobe, three wins and two losses. And note, this is taking no stock direction risk at all. It's just waiting for a trigger that indicates volatility so we can look at a non-directional trade. But let's look at how this trade did during the bear market of late 2018. So we'll go into our settings. We'll put in the beginning of October, 2018, through the end of 2018. And you can see here in just those three months where the market was collapsing, we have two trades with Amazon, two wins, no losses with 96% return while the stock was down 26%. Or we can look at PayPal up 130% on three wins and one loss while the stock was down 5%. There was no trade in Facebook because the safety valve, the technical requirement didn't trigger. That's exactly what we'd hope to see. Now let's look at the results over 10 years. And while we're here, we added Apple to the fray as well. Now you can see over 10 years, 12 wins and one loss in Amazon, 13 wins and seven losses in Adobe, seven wins and one loss in Facebook, eight wins and two losses in PayPal. Again, eight wins and two losses in Apple. Through a bull market and a bear market, taking no stock direction risk at all, we turned a strategy which has been shown to be a loser. That is just owning calls and puts and hoping that stocks will move. We added a few rules with backtesting and structured technical rules to trigger and open and found magnificent results that work during a bull market and a bear market and when all of it is put together. And where do we find historically the best candidates for this volatility trade with a technical trigger? It's under the Pro Scanner. So we'll click Pro Scan. We go by strategy. We can choose any ticker group we like. In this case, we'll just choose the NASDAQ 100. And here we go for the never trade earnings scans that we have. And we're looking at the technical long strangles. And you'll get all of the results and you can sort them by the number of wins or the win rate, by the average trade return, the total back test return. And you can sort by different back test lengths and finally, we can go to the alerts tab and set an alert for the stock price going below the 200 day moving average. Now let's try to use some technical analysis to find a strategy which identifies stocks as they're rising so it works well in a bull market, but it also has settings such that when a bear market comes or even when a correction comes, no stock trades happen. That is the trigger is smart enough to not fire. We'll try this with a special technical open. First, we're gonna wait for the stock to cross up through the 10 day moving average. That's a lot of momentum. We also wanna make sure that the 50 day moving average is above the 200 day moving average and the 21 day moving average is above the 50 day moving average. We call this stacked moving averages. Finally, even though this is a bullish momentum setup, we don't want the stock to be overbought. So we're gonna say the RSI has to be below 70. And here are the results over the last 10 years. Look at the win rates. 19 wins and three losses for Google, 21 wins and eight losses for Amazon, all the way through to Netflix with 21 wins and five losses. But this is during a bull market. So if this strategy is doing what it should be doing, if we look at the bear market at the end of 2018, we should either see winning trades or no trades at all. We'll go to settings and we'll set it up for the end of 2018. Here we go. And now we see that we're getting a message that says the strategy did not result any trades being placed. If we close that window, we'll see that only one trade was placed with these four stocks, Google, Amazon, Nvidia, and Netflix. It was Google. It was a winning trade. It actually went up 48.7%. But more importantly, during this bear market, the technical trigger simply didn't fire. We avoided the bear market. So far, this is working perfectly. Let's extend the time frame and go to one year. Now that we step back to one year, we see each of them are showing positive returns. But even more importantly, let's see how this technical trigger did relative to just buying and holding the stock. We'll click on a backtest tile. This technical trigger returned 64%, while Google was up 49.5%, meaning it outperformed the stock and traded many fewer days. There's much less risk in this strategy. We can now walk down to Amazon. Amazon was up 23.2% in the last year. This strategy was up 35.7%, and again, much less risk. We can now go to NVIDIA. 2018 was a terrible year for NVIDIA when it came down to it. The stock was down 33%, but this technical strategy was actually up 16%. So now we've shown that it works during a bull market over 10 years, a bear market over those last three months in 2018, and that the strategy can outperform the stock when the market's going up and down. While we're at it, we might as well test this stock strategy as an option strategy. What if we just bought a call during these times as opposed to buying the stock? So we'll get long a call. We'll go down to the close trade when and make sure we close our trade with a 40% limit. And here are the results over the last 10 years. All of a sudden we see returns from 182% to 641% and look at those win rates. Not a single one is below 60%. And if we go back to the six month period from June, 2018, 
to the end of 2018, we see positive returns other than Netflix, and all of the positive returns are larger than the loss of Netflix, meaning this technical setup as an option strategy also works, which is to say it tends to avoid bad trades, that is trades when the market's going down, and jump in on trades when the market's going up. Now it's time for a little bit of a wow factor for our final and most compelling example of how important it is to understand when you're in a bull market or a bear market by using technicals. That is a structured rule to let you know. We'll look at the famous back test the Capital Market Laboratory has published for the SPY. It's a four-legged custom strategy, which is created by clicking the custom strategy button. It has four legs and we won't go over it now, but suffice it to say, we have a full dossier which walks this trade step by step so that every single leg makes sense. And this trade does have limited risk. It's totally a covered trade. What we showed was this incredible trade over 10 years that had an 880% return with 113 wins and 11 losses. What could be more fantastic? Well, here's the problem. Over the last year, this trade has started to fall apart. And if we go to the last year, this is for all of 2018, this trade is negative 97%. The problem with this trade is not the construct. The problem with this trade it was unable to identify when the market had turned bearish. In fact, even if we looked over the last two years now, given how bad 2018 was, this trade is still vastly negative, even though it has 22 wins and three losses. Here's where the wow factor comes in. We're going to go down to the technical open. We're going to try to set a safety valve again. This time we're going to make sure we only do this trade if the stock price, that is the SPY, is above its 50-day moving average. We also want the 50-day moving average to be above the 200-day moving average. These two requirements show us that the SPY is at the very least not in a downtrend. But we also want to make sure that the market isn't overbought. And we're going to do that simply by saying the 10-day moving average is below the 21-day moving average. So you can think of these first two requirements telling us we're not in a bear market, and this last requirement making sure we're not overbought. And now, look at the results. We see an enormous loser turning into a winner with an 80% win rate. That's the power of using technical analysis to identify the times when we want to trade and we don't want to trade. We can now look over the last year. All of a sudden we have a trade that has only triggered three times, but it's won all three times and returned 45%. And here are two more cases of proof that it works. If we go to the last six months of 2018, we will see a message which tells us the strategy did not result in any trades being placed. Exactly. We wouldn't want to do this trade in a bear market. Now let's look over the last 10 years. Here's a trade over 10 years that has 28 wins and three losses for a 363% return. Keep in mind, each of these trades is just one month. That's 31 trades yielding 363%. That's 31 months with more than 10% returns. Avoiding a bear market, getting in when it's a bull market, and avoiding an overbought market. We set out to answer three questions. We showed one way in which momentum trading works and when it works. We showed one way in which non-directional option trading works and when it works. And finally, we showed when technical stock trading works and how it works. And for each of these, we showed verifiable entry and exit rules. And finally, we had technical indicator safety valves that had us not trading at bad times but trading at times that were ideal for those strategies. We were empirical and explicit, and we hope that you were better for it. Of course, there are so many other strategies that can be tested, and among those strategies, you'll find your favorites for a diversified option portfolio that works during a bull market, a bear market, and in a chop market. And we cover every stock and every ETF and every index in North America. We were empirical, and we were explicit, and we did answer the questions that we set out to. Thank you for watching. We hope you're the better for it.